What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy D Walsh here, back with another banger. As to today's banger, it fixed about to get litty and crazy. As y'all can tell, the video right here is that I finally got my cow hood, but at the meantime, I'm taking it to my buddy shop over at Cedar Park. You know, because he's going to get it painted. There it is right there in the back of my truck. I finally got it, like, last week around there. But I wanted to wait until I get a video on it. You know, I'm going to show y'all where the shop is. And then, you know, and, and my buddy's truck, he's got another 6 -0, And then, of course, you know, he's going to show us, like, what kind of stuff he does painting-wise. Like, you know, he did his headlights, he did his taillights, and he did all kinds of stuff on his truck. Man, anyways, y'all, please make sure to hit that like, and hit that sub button as well, turn the bell, notifications, and like, comment, do all that good stuff, share this video. So let's get right to it on game. JPK. It's the same drama going same trauma, the same stuff that I feel. Well, I leave this earth is something. Can I please feel something real? Life's a bitch, no fairy tales. No such thing as happy endings. Can I get some real friends? Like my picture, like I'm hard. Never trust a soul. Suicidal since I was told. I can't stand my party guys. So as soon as I was fixing my to leave the house, this box almost fell off the truck. To the people that wanted to load you know, big boxes like this or heavy loads like that. Side note, bring extra straps with you and extensions as well. You know, ex extension strap. I only had one strap. And of course, that's on me. But lucky though, shout out to my boy Tyler, you know, helped me out to get a couple more straps in into the box right here. So I have like about, about four straps around the box. I just hit up my boy Mason. He just told me, he said that, um, I'm gonna go up to his house and drop it off. trailer flipped over on an 18 wheeler what the hell bobby alrighty guys so we already made it to the shop right here so i'm gonna park my truck right here so while we're putting it on the hood but mason and the guys they're in the shop right now i'm gonna go show y'all his truck real quick there's a lot of stuff that's going on on his truck right now at the moment so he's gonna show y'all like what he's got plans for the truck and what's done on the truck but no it's just based on car jacks because there's nothing on there like you know axles no suspension or anything it's just it's just the truck on a car jack let's get right to it see you this is what i'm talking about right here Damn them bitches clean. Hey, How about you shut the f up and listen? Huh? How about you shut the f up and listen? You. Damn, you didn't fill up the fucking excursion like a dick. Hey, how are you getting your bike though? Hey, how are you getting your bike though? Yeah, motherfucker. So this is the owner. My boy Mason here. This is his truck right here. Of course, his leaf springs and all of his like brakes and suspension, everything on this truck that's out of his truck is all everywhere because he's fixing to get it powdered. Say, man, what year's your what year's your truck? What? What year's your truck? 03. What's done on it? Fucking everything. Boy, if you don't get bulletproof, uh, it ain't clean in there, but she, she moves tune. Uh, Mishimoto shit. Mishimoto radiator? Radiator and the intercooler. Fast fuel pump. Your diesel radiator with burn system. I don't know. I mean, just look at this. I've never seen this in my life that someone actually takes off everything out of underneath the truck and put car jacks on it. Like, that shit is crazy. But yeah, but th this is my boy Mason's truck right here. Got another deal. He's part of the Texas Roller T. And also, y'all go make sure to check out his Instagram. It's Mason underscore 60. Y'all go spam him out, you know, follow his shit on Instagram because this is about to be a crazy ass build that he's fixed my do on this 60. I'm telling y'all, shit, shit is fixed to get pressured right here. Awesome. Alrighty guys, so. So I came in to find out that something's wrong with my hood. So I went up to the shop the other day 
And of course, I wasn't gonna do any clips because whenever I got into the shop, he told me said my hood was. F what I mean, my hood, my hood was. F um, let's just say it started like it started like the crack. What I mean by cracking, so like when the way how you like you paint, you know something, you have to like wet sand it, and then you got to do the prime and then paint stuff. You know, to the people that like are out there watching my channel. I mean, I know that most of y'all, like, paint stuff as well, but, <clears throat> I mean, this is, like, my second time I'm um, painting something on for my truck, which, obviously, I did my mirrors, but the guy that I did my mirrors, he's not, like, I haven't hit him up then, but I'm doing another guy that actually knows how to do paint and stuff, but he said my, my hood is f and then now he's telling me that I need to take it to a body shop. I don't got time for that. So luckily though, I have a buddy of mine in Gerald that is actually doing my hood. So I just dropped it off just about a couple hours ago. So whenever I get it back, I'll do clips of the hood once it gets done, go from there. I mean, I know that a lot of people are telling me that don't rush opportunities and stuff like that. Let Just be patient to it. This is why God is telling me like, I just need to chill and then, you know, just vibe with my life because you know you got that one time opportunity i can't rush stuff this is why like you know my hood's not been on my lift is not on you know my train horns are not on i think god is telling me that i need to like you know just live life but i mean all i gotta say is that i gotta be patient that's all i gotta say so i apologize to the people you know waiting on to, to see the new lift the new hood train horns all that stuff trust me I've been waiting for the longest. Y'all stay tuned. Let's get right to it on game. Run week later. All right, you guys. So I've already got the new hood installed. <clears throat> it took about a couple of hours just to put it on because you know you got the, you know the lift support like on the little socks right there, on the on the hood itself. So I had to get a new one because I dropped one of the clamps in the engine bay, but it it already fell. But decided to get a new one, so we put it on and. I'm gonna tell y'all this, this hood is like the best mod that you could ever do on y'all's truck right here for y'all's Fords. For, well, for 99 to 07. Anyways, show y'all the results. It's the same drama going same trauma, the same stuff that I feel. Well, I leave this earth this something. Can I please feel something real? Life's a bitch, no fairy tales. No such thing as happy endings. Can I get some real friends? Like Just look at this hood right here, my guys. Like, like just look at the scoop out of this. Like if you look right here on the side view, looks like a big head shark. With the scoop right here in the middle. Holy. But I know eventually most of y'all are going to be commenting that, you know, about my grill and about my headlights. Don't worry, I'm going to get that fixed. I'm going to paint my grill, same as the white as my, my truck, which is an Oxford white. But I'm going to either resurface my headlights or I'm either going to get a new set of headlights. I don't know which setup I'm going to do. Because I know a lot of people actually like to do different setups. So I'm going to give me a different setup so that way that I could be different in the truck scene. I know that my whole truck is like bugs and then like it's all dirty and stuff. I mean, it just like storm. Like look at this right here. Like Texas, what are you doing? And I knew some of y'all noticed on my snap the other day that I did decorate my truck for my girlfriend. You know, she just graduated um, the other night. So y'all can tell right there. And of course my rims are dirty. I mean, everything on this truck is dirty. I need to get this truck detailed. I'm gonna say this. I apologize to the people that I have not been posting on YouTube at all. It's just because that I've been working a lot. And of course, you know, a lot of people have been asking me like, you know, these, these big shows coming up, you know, like I missed it at LST this year. And of course, Rally on the Valley was supposed to be this weekend, but I ain't going to that. And because the reason why I'm saying that is, is because this truck is not ready. I still got more stuff coming up on the truck, you know, new lift, train horns, and I just bought me a custom center console speaker box for my sound system in my truck. So, y'all just stay tuned. I got big stuff coming up. Anyway, y'all please make sure to hit that like, subscribe button, the channel, turn the bell notifications, like, comment, do all that good stuff, share this video. 
And also another thing, I know I said that I have a girlfriend and you know, I just did the decorations and stuff. Leave a comment down below or get this video 100 likes. I will make another YouTube channel of me and my girlfriend. Cause me and my girl will be talking about actually doing the, our own YouTube channel and she said that she would be down for it. But I wanted to see how many people will actually like it if I actually made another YouTube channel between me and my girl. But I mean, anyways, y'all please make sure to follow me on the media and your boy D washes out. Peace. Remember